All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend, Possible here, and I'm back in action with a quick look at another movie that came out really recently. This has been one of the top movies of the recent uh, month, um, battling back and forth with a bunch of dinosaurs for first place, and that is Inside Out. What many are people calling one of the most genius movies ever made because you get a real look at what's it like to be inside the head of a person. And also, I don't know about you, but when I saw this movie, I was thinking about what it would be like to who's inside me. You know, who is in charge at certain moments, you know. And I loved, the one part I loved the best about this movie is how these feelings interacted with the world, you know, with the real world. So there would be what's happening outside, what's happening inside, and that's what I liked. Let me tell you a challenge that I can have sometimes, and I think a lot of people have, so it doesn't bother me. There's a way we like our movies, and then there's a way we don't like our movies. And there are times when we just have to accept what the director's made. And that can be difficult for me. See, the, the movie takes place in two places. One, the outside world, where we see Riley interacting, and Riley is the little girl whose head we're in, was we're inside her head, and she's doing her motions, and she's going through her life, and we see how the inner head reacts to the outer stimuli. That's what I really liked. Then we had these moments where Riley went to sleep. Now, the feelings have a challenge of their own. They have a real problem that they've got to deal with. So they've got to start running around and solving this problem for Riley. And that's the part I really didn't like, being quote-unquote inside the subconscious, where the memories are where it's an entire maze and there's like this adventures. You, you're in the middle of Riley who is moving from point A to point B. And you know what's so funny is that this movie connected with me because when I was around Riley's age, I moved from my home back in Michigan to here in Arizona. So that was, and that was a difficult move for me at the time. You saw the quote unquote breakdown that the person was having at that time. And the way she was going through the motions and how she's trying to live her life, while at the same time having a breakdown and how certain emotions were dealing with her. Like I said, the other part I liked was not just when we were inside Riley's head, but when we were inside everyone's head, you know? And you saw different things. Like at certain points, different people were in charge. When you got into her father's head, you noticed that anger was in charge while the others were just kind of supporting him. When you were in the mom's head, you noticed sadness was in charge while the other ones were supporting her. And that was really cool. Now I'm going to tell you my biggest beef with this movie. And yes, I do have a beef with this movie. A small one. One that I feel I should not have, but it's there nonetheless. Compared to other Pixar movies, Inside Out just didn't grab me like the other ones did. Like Finding Nemo, Toy Story, the other movies, and some of the other ones. It didn't have that same magic. They had a good premise, don't get me wrong, it had an amazing premise. But the actual action, the actual getting with the characters and all that, it didn't fit. And there's one part I really struggled with, and this is just me my own interpretation of the human brain, is that I don't see these guys being in control. Okay, maybe when you're a little kid, yeah, these are the things that have the control, but I don't see it that way. I see them influencing me, but I don't see them actually having the control. Like, I'm still the driver, they're the navigators, but you don't get that sense in this movie. You get the sense in this movie that they're the drivers. And, you know, trying to understand that these people make up Riley didn't really mesh with my understanding. Now, I'm not a psychologist, but that said, I, it's not like I, I have zero knowledge of psychology. I did study it in high school and college. So I'm not saying I'm a professional, but, it's, but I'm not an amateur either. But then again, that's what this movie, that's what makes this movie so wonderful, is that you get to debate these things. You get to question these things. And you're supposed to have, and you use these movies. It's like, can you imagine walking into your child psychologist now? And he's got these dolls lined up. And he says, when you walk into my door, grab the doll that represents you right now. 
You know, are you sadness right now, little boy? Are you anger right now, little girl? And stuff like that. So yeah, it's a cool movie, great movie. You have to see it. You know, so I didn't laugh at all the jokes. You know what my biggest problem was? For me, Inside Out did not live up to the hype. And that's not a problem. Very few movies could ever live up to the hype that people give it. I don't read their articles, but I saw all the headlines. I saw them talk about this one character who you get introduced in the middle of a film and how this guy stole the film. And I was waiting for him to do something awesome. But nothing really came much of him. Why? Well, to be honest, it's more because of my expectation, you know? The way the article made this character sound, they made him sound amazing. Like it was going to be mind-blowing. And he wasn't, for me, because I held him at too high of a bar. That's why I'd really hesitate to bring this up. Pixar has the bar set very high. Hell, if this movie had been anyone else but Pixar, it would have done gangbusters. People would have been blowing up. But because it's Pixar, people are saying, yeah, great movie, awesome movie, one of the best movies ever made, very intelligent, stuff like that. It, but they also have a secret way of saying, it's what we expect from Pixar. You know, with the Disney-Pixar combination, this is what we've come to expect. For me, the bar that is set so high, this movie did not reach it. However, that's not to say it did not achieve great heights. But because it's Pixar and Disney, I just expect it a little bit better. But that's my own beef, and I have and I don't and I say this really to maybe if you haven't seen it yet, to lower your expectations a little bit. It's a great movie. Not that great, you know, but it's okay. I mean, we got to learn to not walk in with this inflated impression of me. Heck, everyone else, even I try when I go see a movie to lower my expectations, to remember that it's not going to be perfect. Is it a good movie? Absolutely. Should you see it? Yes, you should, if you have not seen it yet. Um, but when it comes to with Inside Out, I liked it. All right, guys, that's it for me for today. We'll see you at the theaters. Seven minutes instant movie review. My 